with this crazy market, what are homes in the suburbs selling for? That's exactly what this comment asked in the comment section on our channel. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, your favorite awesome realtor. It's great that you drop comments like this because it helps me understand what you are wanting. So thank you for that. Make sure you keep doing that in these videos. So in this crazy market, what are the prices in the suburbs going for? I think that's a question that I get a lot. So this is a great question. You know, we talk about this a lot on our live streams. If you haven't watched our live streams, definitely go check those out because there's a lot of great information on there. What I'm gonna do today is go through and talk about each of the suburbs and talk about the prices. I'm gonna go back and give you the school ratings. I'm gonna give you the drive times of downtown as well because that's all great information that you wanna hear. And don't worry, I'm gonna leave the one you ask about the most for last in this video. So here we go. The first on my list and the one I talk about a lot that is Dripping Springs. Yes, I love this area. If you go over to niche.com, the school rating is an A+. So that's one reason why a lot of people are choosing this area to move to. The drive time to downtown, it's about 30 to 45 minutes. My favorite neighborhoods really are gonna be like Belterra, High Point, Calatera, all great neighborhoods. And there's a ton of great neighborhoods out there right now. If you look in this area, the average list price is around 712,000 with a sold price around 760. So this is an area where prices are kind of really skyrocketing. Now you can find prices under that. It's not all the time, but you can find them. Um, here's a great example of a property that I found. This property is listed at 749. It's a three bedroom, five bath, 3,300 square feet, which is pretty cool. So this is just gives you kind of a good example of what you might find in the Dripping Springs area. A little more space, a little fun. So yes, again, Dripping Springs, one of my favorites. Let's jump into one of my other favorites and that is Bee Cave. Bee Cave is about 30 to 45 minutes of downtown. And the school rating is at an A in the Lake Travis Independent School District. The price points out there are going to be between $635 and a sale price of around $673, $675. Things do go into multiple offers out there because there's really not a ton of inventory. If you look at neighborhoods like Falconhead, Province, Bella Colinas, all these neighborhoods sell very quickly. And here's a good example of what you will find. This is a four bedroom, four bath listed at 795. Again, a lot of these are going to multiple offers. So this will kind of go up in price point. Really great property, really nice kitchen. I don't know what's up with that chair at the island, but definitely a cool looking kitchen. This is a, just a good indication of what you'll find out in the Bee Cave area. Like I'm a big fan of Bee Cave. I think it's a great place to live. And I really do like that there's a Galleria and it's really not too far. Like I said, 30 or 45 minutes to downtown. Next on my list is Lakeway, which is out in the same area. Same school district, which is the Lake Travis Independent School District. Again, rated an A. Drive times for Lakeway are gonna be similar to Bee Cave, 30 to 45 minutes. Great neighborhoods out there would be Cardinal Hill, Lakeway, Vistas of Lakeway all great areas. What's great about Lakeway is some of the neighborhoods do touch the lake, so quick access. So if you're looking to be really close to the lake, Lakeway, Lake Travis definitely should be on your list. But again, price points in there are gonna be between 810 and 878 sale price. So, you know, if, if the list price is 810, and it's going about 68,000 over. Just keep in mind in this market, a lot of the times the average is gonna be 100,000 over. This one on Joseph's listed at 800K, five bedroom, three bath, 2,900 square feet. Getting a lot of really beautiful trees. Really nice overall open floor plan. What's up with these plants in the middle of the living room? Haven't seen that before, but definitely uh, a great property. Now look, if you're looking out the Lakeway area, Lake Travis area, there are homes well up into the million dollar range. If you go down over to like Serene Hills, you're gonna be in the 1.3 to 1.5 range. So if you're looking out in these areas, definitely not a cheap area to live in. So if you're thinking, Jeremy, you've talked about some really expensive areas. Are you gonna give us some better price points? Yes, here we go. I'm gonna give you Buda. I've long said that Buda and Kyle are two of my favorite places that are probably the most underrated places to live around the Austin area. But the drive time from Buda to downtown is gonna give you about a 30 minute drive to downtown. If you look at the independent school district, which is a Hayes ISD, uh, it's rated about a B minus. Now look, I'm using niche.com. Don't always give so much weight into niche or great schools. Definitely do your own independent investigation into schools to see if they are a good fit for you. Uh, in this area, you are gonna find homes that are between 328 being a list price and a close price being around 360. You know, you will find homes under this price point, but you will also find homes well over this price point. This home is listed at 350. It's a three bed, two bath, almost 1800 square foot home in the Buda area. <laughs> this is at 350 though, carpet floors. This will probably go in 
a multiple offer, but a nice open kitchen floor plan. So that's nice. There are a lot of great places around the Buda area, and I would recommend looking in Sunfield, Ruby Ranch, Elm Grove just to start. There are a lot of great places. The downtown area in uh, Buda is one of my favorite places, so definitely check that out. So staying in line with Buda, let's look at Kyle. Again, it's going to be the same ISD, which is the Hayes ISD. But in Kyle, you're looking at about a 35 to 45 minute drive to downtown. The price point to list is around 300 and ending up around 325. Now we've recently put in offers in the Kyle and the Buda area and we're seeing you know our offers go you know almost a hundred thousand over list price and not getting it this area is about 0.2 months of inventory so the inventory in this area has definitely gone down pretty quickly so uh, keep that in mind Plum Creek Waterleaf and hometown Kyle are definitely some places to look at if you want to stay in this price point. This is on Decker. This is in Plum Creek listed at 315 four bed three bath 2600 square foot home Definitely a nice floor plan. I do like the Plum Creek area. All right, let's go to the next on the list. Look, I know I'm going very briefly through these and I, and I just wanna get you the most information possible in the shortest amount of time. If you do have questions, make sure you do drop them down below and I will try to answer any questions as quickly as possible. So uh, Manor, Manor is an area I get asked about a lot. I like Manor because it is about 20 to 25 minutes of downtown. So of the areas that we're looking at in this video, this is probably gonna be the fastest to downtown. If you go look at the school rating through niche.com, it's rated a C. You know, I've met with the superintendent a couple years ago. You know, this area is definitely doing a lot to improve the school. So keep that in mind. You know, definitely do your due diligence and look at school ratings on your own and do some investigating on your own. But this is what they're listed at. Uh, some good neighborhoods would be Shadow Glen, Presidential Meadows, and Whisper Valley. I do like Whisper Valley for a lot of reasons. They do a lot of green building and they have probably one of the lowest tax rates, so I like that a lot. Um, the average for this area for a list price is gonna be around 324 and a close price of 352. This area used to be able to buy something really cheap, you know, cheap being in the 250s. Those prices have long gone. So I'll show you a really great property. Again, you can find properties under the prices that I'm telling you here. I'm just giving you the averages, so keep that in mind. But this one on Rygate is listed at 263. It's a four bedroom, two bath. 1791 square feet. Only got two pictures. Hold, hold on one second. Hold on. Hello? Yeah. Oh, you're watching the video right now? Oh, you're an investor? Oh, you, when you want to buy under 300K and you like the house I'm showing you on Rygate? Yeah, we can write an offer on that one. Sure. Do oh, you mind if I get back to the video though? Okay, thanks. Now keep in mind, this area does see a lot of investors. This area, the Hornsby Bend area, all of this sees a lot of investors because the price point can be below 350. So if you're bidding in this area, keep in mind, it might go up pretty quickly. My next on this list is going to be Hutto. Hutto is about 30 to 45 minutes to downtown. It's kind of on the backside of Pflugerville. The school rating is a B through Hutto Independent School District on niche.com. I do like Hutto a lot. I really do like their mascot is the Hutto Hippo, which is kind of cool. So anyway, beyond the point, uh, some areas that look in there would be Hutto Square, Hutto Crossing. The price points in here are going to be in the low 300s, closing out in the mid uh, 300s. You do get a lot of really nice properties with some land in this area. I just sold a property in this area for 235 a few months ago. 235 in this area is definitely hard to find now. Um, Hutto's prices have gone up because there is some great stuff coming down the line for Hutto. That being said, here's a great property on Killian Loop listed at 291. It's a four bed, two bath, about 2,000 square feet. Uh, my phone's about to ring again on this one because under 300K, all the investors on the planet are trying to get in that price point. But this is great, hardwood floors, 2,000 square feet. This gives you a good idea of what you'll find in Hutto. Great property. So let's keep going. Next on this list is going to be Pflugerville. I do like Pflugerville a lot. If you look at the independent school district, it is rated an A minus. So that is why a lot of people are looking to move in this area. The price points are list price starting at 321 with a final close price of 361 are the averages. Now you can find some lower prices, but if you look in the areas like Black Hawk, Falcon Point, properties are selling more in the fours to fives. The great part about Pflugerville is you can find homes in the lower 300s. When you do find homes that low they are going into huge multiple offers again every investor is looking for those price points but here's a great example of a great property this is listed at 354 it's a four bed three bath 2300 square feet you even get a shot of Pflugerville Lake there which is nice 
open floor plan, clean looking property. There you go. I really do like Pflugerville. You know, the drive time to downtown isn't that bad, about 35 minutes, like I said. So there you go. All right, so let's go to the next on my list, which is Round Rock. But Round Rock is about a 30 to 45 minute drive to downtown. My problem is the I-35 corridor is so tough to get to downtown when you're driving, so keep that in mind. Uh, but the overall rating for Round Rock ISD is an A through niche.com. You know, I think a lot of people like Round Rock because the school districts are rated really high. On the west side of 35, you get like Brushy Creek, which is a great area. There's a lot of really great new build communities, and I think that's partly why Round Rock has been so sought after. Prices in there are higher than some of the ones that we've talked about. You're looking at an entry price of $398 and a closed price around $452. I do see a lot of multiple offers in this area, especially if you're going towards Brushy Creek. You're seeing homes that are really into the $500, $600, 700s and you can get homes in the millions in Round Rock. So this is a great example. At $385, it's a three bedroom, two bath, 1,700 square feet. I imagine this will probably definitely sell over $400 easily. There there you go. Next on my list is one of those areas I constantly get asked about. And to be honest, I've actually closed a lot of properties in this area recently, and that is Georgetown. And look, Georgetown is one of those places where if you're wanting a new build for a moderate price, you can find it. You got Wolf Ranch, you got Fairhaven, so many great builders, Lakeside at Georgetown, so many great locations out there. I think that's why so many people are liking Georgetown now. If you look at the drive, the drive is kind of tough because you are coming from that North Corridor down I-35. So the drive time is going to be about 45 minutes. Really could be an hour just depending on how bad that traffic is. Looking at the school district, it is rated a B plus through niche.com. I definitely recommend throughout this video, every one I talk about and I give you a school rating, make sure you just do your own due diligence. But this area, you are going to find homes between like the 350 range starting price with a sale price around 431. So if you are going to buy in this area, when you are looking at a lot of these new builds, keep in mind and look at the property tax rate because the rates are pretty high in this area. There are some locations that have a lower tax rate, so keep an eye on those. If you want some of those lower tax rate areas, drop a comment below and I'll respond to that. Now, I actually just had a client close really close to this home in Fairhaven. This is a DR Horton new build, but you're looking at a three bedroom, two bath, 1300 square foot for 270K. Uh, some of these DR Horton homes are doing like a bid process now. If you want to write a contract on these, you actually have to bid over list price and guarantee that you're going to uh, make up any appraisal differences. But this is a good example of what you find over in like Fairhaven. All right, next on my list is Cedar Park. A lot of you have asked about Cedar Park and a lot of people are looking at Cedar Park. So if you're looking at this area, part of the reason why is that it is in the Leander ISD, which is rated an A+, one of the better school districts in the area, according to niche.com. Plus the price points, you know, in, in Cedar Park, the price points are a lot higher than some of the other areas. You're looking at kind of a base of around 431 and a close price around 512. So what we're seeing a lot of huge over list price offers in the Cedar Park area, partly because it is closer to Austin than like Leander. It's about a 30 minute drive to downtown Austin from Cedar Park. So that is why people like this area schools and the distance to downtown. Plus you can get a newer home. Speaking of looking at new homes, this is a newer home. It's listed at 399. It's a three bedroom, two bath, almost 1900 square feet. This will definitely go into multiple offers, but here's a good example of what you will find in Cedar Park. Now let's talk about the one that you ask me the most about, and that is Leander. Okay, Leander is one of those areas, there's a ton of new builds going on, just like Georgetown. So the two areas I get asked the most about are Georgetown and Leander now. And if you look at this, the schools are rated an A+. Now, if you are on the back side of Leander, keep in mind that you're running into Georgetown ISD. So there's a fine line there when you're looking, but there's a lot of great new builds. The school districts are rated really well. You're looking kind of like a 45 minute drive to downtown if you're gonna live in Leander. Now, I love Crystal Falls. Some beautiful homes in the Grand Mesa area. We're talking eight, $900,000 homes, $1.3 million homes in this area. There are uh, neighborhoods that are a little more affordable like Bar W. There's quite a few, Bryson's one. So definitely a lot of great areas to purchase and that's why a lot of people are looking in Leander. And here's a great example of what you'll find in Leander. This is listed at 430. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 
uh, 2,100 square foot home and it's a great, pretty much brand new looking home. And this is what you're gonna get, a lot of newer homes. Let's talk about the one that I haven't talked about and that's Laga Vista. And guess what? Laga Vista is not gonna be on this list, neither is Bastra. If you want me to talk about these two areas, definitely drop a comment below. I get a lot of people comment and ask questions about Laga Vista. So here's your chance. Do you want me to do a full video on Laga Vista or a full video on Bastra? Drop a comment below. If I get enough comments, I will do a full video and give you a full breakdown of Laga Vista. Jeremy Knight, the Knight Group, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Like this video, hate this video, more videos like this. I wanna hear it. Have a great day.